Dr. Erin, and today we are wondering how do wasps build their nests? So every year, most of the wasps will die off in fall, but a few females that are gonna have the ability to become next year's queens are gonna rest inside of cracks inside of tree barks and other protected areas, and they're gonna make it through winter and into the spring. And once it gets warm enough, all of those new queens or ones that could possibly be queens are going to set about building their nests. Many of us have been delighted and maybe a little bit scared to discover some of these nests, sometimes around our homes or out in the forest. These wasps are amazing engineers and for the month of July we're going to be focusing on our animal engineers. So our paper wasps make their nests by making their own paper, just like the name suggests. And they were doing it long before we ever started to think about how to make paper. So they, we can take a lot of cues from them. One reason that they really like to build their homes near our homes is because we have a lot of materials around that they like to use to build their nests. So we have a lot of stuff that can be used to be turned into paper. Because around our homes, we keep a lot of wood piles of old weathered wood, we have fence posts, we have decks and other things like that that are really great materials because they like to find old weathered wood and then they chew off a little bit of that wood, they mash it up, mix it in with their sticky saliva and all of that wood pulp and saliva together is what they make their paper out of. So of course they have a few adaptations to help them. So they've got these strong mouth parts that are called mandibles that are gonna allow them to take bites out of that old weathered wood, that really good construction material. And they're gonna have the right mix of saliva in order to mix that up and then spread that to make a paper once it dries and becomes that paper. Making a home out of paper might not seem like the best idea because what happens when it rains? So their choice of where they put their nest is also really important. So they like to choose those overhangs. And again, our houses offer great overhangs that are dry and a little bit protected from the rain. But then the shape of their nest is also gonna help them. So they make them shaped like an umbrella so that that water is gonna roll right off of it instead of soaking in. So it's gonna be hanging upside down, umbrella shaped, that water can roll off the sides. And then their hives, their little cells are gonna be on the inside. All of those hexagonal little cells are gonna be a place for them to lay their eggs and start their new hive. Even still, these nests are only meant to last for a year, so every single year they're gonna make a totally new nest. I've got a hive that is safe to pick up. We've made sure that there's no wasp in it. We're gonna take a closer look at their construction of that paper wasp nest. Let's start out looking at that outer paper layering that protects that whole hive. So you can see in here, that we've got different like lines of materials. So this is where they were getting some wood from one place and then a new place and then a new place and layer by layer, they construct that paper. So moving along it almost like a typewriter. And then we've also got a few other materials that are mixed in here as well to kind of strengthen that paper to make it just a little bit stronger. And this is quite an old one. So it's a little bit messed up. You can see here again, we've got some other materials to make it strong. So this one has got a pine cone right in there. And those lovely hexagonal cells that are where she raises her brood. For your indoor activity, we're gonna take a closer look at paper that we have today. So even though we don't chew up wood pulp in order to make paper, it's made in a very similar way to the way that the paper wasps make their paper in that it's really tiny shredded bits of wood pulp. So you're gonna take a magnifying glass or a microscope and you're gonna look at different types of paper. So anything that you can think of, tissue paper, uh, construction paper, really smooth pressed paper, all different types. They're gonna all, when you look at them really closely, you're gonna be able to see those fibers deep in there. We're gonna take a look at that paper wasp nest. Have a collection of paper ready to go. I've got this all set up with that paper wasp, 
paper in there, we're gonna take a nice close look. You can see how it's made of all that chewed up fiber from the wood. And then our construction paper looks pretty similar. For your wasp pike, we're going to be looking for, of course, those paper wasp nests. Be careful if you do see them. They can be a little bit aggressive. They like to protect their homes. So keep your distance, watch them from a distance. But if you don't see any, you can also take a look and start to look through that hike as if you had the eyes of a wasp. So look for old materials, that weathered wood that would make good paper pulp. Take a look for some food and some water. So think about some nice dry places that you would hang your nest. Or maybe, again, that food. So take a look for those flowers. They like some pollen and some nectar, but also they are omnivores. So look out for some caterpillars and other easy prey to eat. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all next time.